Hey guys, Doug B here. Welcome to Preset of the Week, where I highlight either a factory preset or presets created by third-party creators. Now this week I'm looking at another factory preset, so check out factory preset number 152, Velvet Suns. Let's take a look at Velvet Suns. It has two audio paths, which is what's called parallel processing. Now the top path includes the drive block, the amp block, cab block, vol pan, delay, reverb one, parametric EQ, and the multi-compressor. The bottom path comes out of the drive block and goes into a second vol pan block, compressor one, plex delay, second reverb, a wah block, second compressor block, the enhancer block, graphic EQ, then it comes back up into the parallel EQ. The drive block is using the T808 mod and is only used in scene three. The amp block is using my favorite $50,000 amp head, the ODS-100 clean. The ODS-100 is using a 4x12 rumble cabinet found in the legacy bank. The top vol pan block is using the volume type and the level parameter gets boosted in scenes two and three. The delay block is using the dual delay and it only gets used in scene three. The first reverb block is using the large cathedral type with the time set to 4.5 seconds and the mix set to 30%. The parametric EQ has a 1.80 dB bump at 414.42 Hertz. The multiband compressor block is set to 100% mix, meaning that all audio is going to be going through the multiband compressor block. The bottom path has the second Volpan block again with the volume type, and the volume parameter gets reduced from 10 to three in the third scene. The comp block is using the Studio FF Compressor 1. The Plex Delay block is using the Plex Shift type. It's bypassed in scene one, but is active in the other three scenes. The second reverb block is using the Medium Cathedral type with 3.5 seconds time and 100% mix. The Wah block is using the Clyde type, and it's being controlled by LFO 1A. You can see it going back and forth, and it looks like this on the control, doing a constant sweep. The second compressor block is also using the Studio FF Compressor 1. The Enhancer block is using the Modern type, and the Graphic EQ block is using the 10-band Variable Q type. Now this preset has four scenes, so let's check them all out. We have Light Effects, Full Effects, Solo Over, and Mute FX In. Light Effects has the Drive, Delay, and Plex Delay block in Bypass mode. Full Effects activates the Plex Delay block. Solo Over activates all the blocks. Mute FX In bypasses the Drive, Delay, and Comp block. Hey guys, for this video, I'm using the brand new Paul Reed Smith SE Hollow Body 2 with Piezo Pickup. It just came in from Will Cut Guitars a couple days ago, and it is so much fun. It's totally different from that custom 2408, and that's what I like. It's not exactly the same thing. So we're going to be testing it out here and having some fun. Then I'll be bringing it to the shop to get a setup. You know, I do that with every new guitar that I get. I bring them into the shop. So anyway, I will let you know how it goes. Why don't you tell me what you think of how this guitar is? Now, one of the videos I'm thinking of doing is, you know, this is very similar to a guitar that Alex Lifeson has, where it has the humbuckers. And then it also has the piezo pickup. Now his guitar has a toggle switch so he can switch quickly from humbuckers to the piezo. This doesn't, but I have the Axe FX3 with scenes and I can set it up to do that. Anyway, I'm gonna take a look into that, but let's get back to Velvet Suns. Okay, now this is the first preset called Light FX. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, preset two is called full effects. Okay, now I'm going to skip scene three right now because it's called Solo Over and I've got a track that I'm going to play as a backing track for it. So right now, let me go to scene four, which is Mute FX In. So scene three is called Solo Over. So what I thought I would do is create a little bit of a backing track that I could, you know, instead of just sitting here and noodling, which, you know, who wants to hear just noodling? Let me noodle over a backing track. <laughs> that might be a little bit better. I'm just going to play you a second of what the backing track is so you can hear. It's just drums and bass. That's all there is. So that's all it is, guys. Just drum and bass. All right, now, let's see here. Let me get this recording, and we'll see what happens. So there you have it guys, Velvet Suns. That scene three is just so much fun to play with. You know, if you have a DAW, do like what I did. I just created a basic drum track and that little synth track. That took me maybe five, 10 minutes to put that together. And then you can just loop it. So, hey, you want four minutes? Go for it. You want eight minutes? Sure. 16 minutes? Rock on brother, say what you gotta say. Anyway guys, have a lot of fun with it, give it a try, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about it. Okay, this Friday we're going to take a look at Firmware 18. It might be the beta version, it might be the final version. We will know by then. Alright guys, see you on Friday.